hello hello welcome back to my channel those watching for the first time welcome to Moss kitchen please remember to like and subscribe and be part of Moss kitchen don't just stop at watching but please press on that button that says subscribe and you'll be part of Moss kitchen so on my menu today i'm going to be showing you how i make my juicy meatballs I have a viewer who requested and that is Harriet. So Harriet, this is for you. And don't worry about uh, the wordings on the screen. If they're not visible enough, I got your back. Just click on that arrow below and check in the description box and you have a detailed list of all the spices that I'll be using to make these juicy meatballs. So these are the ingredients I'll be using. I'll add all of them to my minced meat just make sure your minced meat doesn't have ice or doesn't have water before you add in all these spices um i love using cheese it also helps to make my meatballs juicy and then instead of flour i use breadcrumb i use fresh breadcrumb i toast uh, now i used a bun i toasted my bun and blended it and got my fresh breadcrumb i don't like using flour so that's the difference between me some people use flour but me i prefer using breadcrumb and then some eggs also so i'll let you watch the video and i'll be back at that point when we're rolling out our meatballs This is my meat that has been marinated for two hours but you can go ahead and marinate overnight so besides it's my tray that has smeared with oil so that the meatballs do not stick i'm using my hands just using my eyes to measure any size but if you want go ahead and use a scooping spoon to give you a certain size of meatballs that you want it's entirely up to you once i'm done rolling out my meatballs i'll put them in a preheated oven 400 degrees and bake for 15 to 20 minutes then i'll remove them and change them to the other side and bake also for 15 to 20 minutes i don't like deep frying my meatballs some people deep fry them i do not like deep frying them i would rather shallow fry them put little oil and shallow fry them so this is the first round after 20 minutes you see that juice i love it you can remove it and put it aside and use it when you're making the gravy so i'm going to change these meatballs to the other side and then put them back in the oven and bake them again for 15 to 20 minutes we don't want them to over dry because at times once they over dry they tend to be hard you just want them to dry a little bit become a little bit brown and then remove them and you can eat them like that or put them in a sauce so i'll be showing you how we make also our meatball sauce just in a bit now i'm making the sauce for our meatballs but if you don't want a sauce and you want to eat them plain or dry you can go ahead and serve them just with a salad they also taste nice but my viewer requested to make meatballs with a sauce so this is the sauce i'm making for our meatballs so i'm going to let you watch the video and please watch till the end and see the final 
bit of my sauce that I'll be putting in the meatballs. Well, we've come to the end of the video and I hope you loved watching the video and learned something or seen something that I do different from the way you make your meatballs and you would love to try it out. And once you try it out, please share 
uh, what you think about my recipe so that's it from most kitchen please remember to like and subscribe don't just stop at watching the video but go ahead and click on that button that says subscribe and be part of most kitchen bye bye until the next upload